these people, I, it, it's amazing the, uh, the just kind of circular logic that these people can use, painting themselves into a corner. These people at this point who who deny the SEC's dominance over college football for the last 15 to 20 years, these people that deny that the SEC just happens to be the best at football over the last 15 to 20 years, it's just to the point anymore you can't even take these people seriously. You, you've got to treat these people sort of the same way you would treat the uh, – the, the, the sideshow tent at the county fair, right? You know, fortune teller lady, uh, bearded lady, uh, flat earther, uh, big tin man who won't admit SEC owns them. That, that, that's just how you have to look at them. You have to just take a point and laugh approach. At this point, you cannot take these people seriously. And while it's not just uh, big tin people, who try to argue this point for whatever reason it's an it's an overwhelming majority is big 10 people i i, I don't understand it, it it's it, I, the, I think the big 10 fans it's have the biggest case of napoleon syndrome i think in the history of sports um listen the big 10 is a great conference all around now all i particularly care about is football so we'll keep it to football for this but the Big Ten is a great football conference. They're about to be the highest paid football conference per team when Southern Cal and UCLA join and the new Fox deal goes into effect. They are consistently, not every year, but most years, they are the second best Power Five conference in all of football. And in most of those years, there's really no close third place team. There have been years over the last 15 or 20 years, there's been years over the last two or three years, where the Big Ten East, I think you could argue, was the best division in all of football, better than either division in the SEC. Um, now, the Big Ten West, you know, it drags them down a little bit as a whole, as a conference as a whole, but the Big Ten is legitimate football. There's nothing wrong with uh, playing second fiddle to the SEC. And that's what you're doing. The SEC is at the top of the college football world, year in and year out. It was proven once again um, in this year's NFL draft. What is this, the 15th, 16th, 17th year in a row uh, that the SEC has had the most players drafted? Um, I've made, I don't even know how many videos on this supposed um, ESPN bias. You know, this was a talking point of Big Ten Man for years. The only reason the SEC is any good is because the ESPN props them up. Well, what is wrong with – I don't want to go down that again. Again, it's so dumb. Uh, you know, the SEC has TV – or the, uh, the ESPN has TV deals with all five conferences, okay? Uh, you're telling me you've never seen a, a Big Ten game on ABC, dummy, or ESPN or whatever. The ACC network is owned uh, by ESPN. The Longhorn network is owned by ESPN. Why aren't these teams winning national titles constantly? Um, so, but, uh, you know, and now you, you, you want to know who has, uh, you want to know who has SEC bias? The NFL. But for the umpteenth year in a row, the NFL drafts more SEC players than any other, uh, conference. No one is surprised. Big Ten fan, uh, you know, running around making the same old tired ass excuses they do every single year. The Big Ten, second most players drafted. Great. Like I, I look, <laughs> legitimate foot Draft don't matter. Draft don't matter. Okay. National championships. Uh, head-to-head records, you know, uh, Power Five versus Power Five conferences, the SEC's ahead. I, I mean, it's just I, I, people that are denying at this point that the SEC is the best football conference fall in one of two categories. They're either willfully ignorant. Um, in other words, they don't want to know the truth. Um, we all know fans like this. Maybe You know, they care about their particular team, and they don't care or know about anything else in all of college football. Believe me, there's plenty of Georgia fans that fall into this category. Uh, there's plenty of Georgia fans that fall into this category, too. I made a post in my – I have a Georgia group on Facebook. I made a post in it the other day about Anthony Richardson. Somebody commented and I asked – I didn't know who Anthony Richardson was. So, look, I, I get it. There are people that aren't college football fans. They're just fans of a particular team. And if that's the case, then you're, you're willfully ignorant to what's going on outside of that. So, for example, if you're an Ohio State fan and all you care about is Ohio State, you don't care about college football as a whole, you don't watch college football or whatever – you're willfully ignorant to the fact that the SEC fucking owns you. That's one, that's, that's one group of people. 
The other group of people, they're not willfully ignorant. They just can't help it. They're just fucking dumb. Dummies. Five-star dummies. People who spew out all these stats and statistics and uh, made-up facts, honestly, sometimes. There's an Ohio State page I follow on uh, Facebook. I, I thought you were a Georgia fan. I'm a college football fan. Dummy. I don't, that's an, I don't understand. I, I, I could probably make a whole other. In fact, I might do that. Make a whole other video on the difference between college football fans and fans of a college football team only. But uh, this idiot that runs this Ohio State uh, Facebook page says, Ohio State's the only team in the country whose last three head coaches have all played for a national title. Now, notice he said played for a national title because obviously Ohio State's last three head coaches have not won a national title. But this post is just potato on its face. Number one, it's bragging about losses. Um, it's, it's, it's a post bragging about national championship losses. Number two, it forgets the stone cold fact that LSU, an SEC team, their last three coaches played for and won a national title. Uh, Nick Saban, Les Miles, Ed Orgeron. So, so again, two different groups of people, the willfully ignorant um, and, the, and, and the ignorant and just can't help it. Just real, just five-star dummies. The SEC is the best um, conference in football. Most players, hey, let me put some stuff up on the screen for you here. Take a look at this. I mean, it's pretty obvious to me. The SEC dominates the NFL draft once again. Big Ten, second place. And you can see the rest of the conferences here too. But uh, Georgia and Alabama tied for the most players drafted with, uh, what, they have nine or ten players, whatever it was. It's on the screen now. Nine or ten players drafted. They tied for the most. Uh, guess who didn't have the second most players drafted? Not Ohio State. Nope. Your big brother, Michigan. Uh, yeah, so while Ohio State runs around, I swear, um, every time I do one of these videos and I, I go off on these tangents, it, it just reminds me of all these other things I can make a video about. Maybe it's because we had never played Ohio State in the YouTube era until this past year, so I, I, I didn't notice it, but co Ohio State fans walk around like they're college football royalty, and they're not. <laughs> um... They're not. They have two national titles in the last 52 years, okay? There's a long list of teams that have two uh, or more, even, national titles in the last 52 years. Um, no one is getting down on their hands and knees uh, and, 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 and sunk, sucking your taint because you somehow miraculously managed to win two natties in the last 52 years. But Ohio State fans just think they're God's gift to football for whatever reason. Um, I don't know. But it, anyway, back to the list. But uh, so, yeah, Ohio State or uh, Georgia and Alabama had the most players drafted. Michigan was second. I believe Ohio State was uh, Ohio State was third. Jackson State dead last. You know, one player drafted. Now Deion Sanders is crying about it. Um, listen, here's another thing, too. I, I, am, I am about this damn close. I am about this damn close to just saying, you know what? I, forget it. I, I, I don't care. Here's the see. I, I've got so much to say about Colorado and Deion Sanders. And look, normally, I I don't even know if I should admit this or not. I have a, I have a reputation to uphold. Um, I don't mind pissing people off. Um, now I don't set out to intentionally piss people off, generally speaking. Uh, but I've sort of based this entire channel on my willingness to to speak my mind, knowing that it's going to piss a lot of people off, run a lot of people off. And honestly, um, I, I could, this channel could be a lot bigger if I took the approach that some other people take, which who I'm not going to name, where every team is about to be good, every coach is probably going to be good, every player is probably going to be good. I don't do that. I come on here and speak my mind. I have had to tiptoe around talking about Colorado and Deion Sanders because the number of – Okay, we talked about the willfully ignorant earlier and then people that are ignorant and just can't help it. There's another group of people who have wandered into the college football realm within the last six months, and it's people who aren't Colorado fans. They're not a fan of any college football team at all. Um, they don't know anything about college football. It's been years, if ever, that they've even watched college football. But they've got all kinds of stuff to say about Colorado and Deion Sanders now. And they're wrong. Um, you know, you've got people that legitimately think Colorado's winning eight, nine, ten games this year and competing for the pack. I mean, these people, 
There is no way. You just, I don't even know if they know how dumb they sound, but you have to tiptoe around anything you say about Colorado and Deion Sanders because if you come on the internet and you say anything other than Deion Sanders is about to be the greatest coach in the history uh, of history, and I wouldn't be surprised if they win 19 World Series in a row and two Super Bowls. If you say anything short of that, um, you're a hick hillbilly racist from Georgia who needs to shut the fuck up and stay off the internet. Well, let me tell you something, dummy. Um, I really don't give a fuck what you think. Uh, my record speaks for itself on those types of matters. In fact, there are way more white people who won't watch Uncle Lou because I'm not racist enough than there is black people who won't watch me because they think I'm racist against uh, black people. So what I'd really like to do is bend over and let you suck my taint from the inside out. But since this is the internet and you're unable to do that, I guess we'll just have to settle for one of these. Have a great day.